Hey everyone. All right, I am interviewing today my friend Melissa. And just gonna wait a minute on her to come on. So we will be talking about anxiety. Uh, Melissa has uh, has been dealing with anxiety. I don't want to say struggle because it hasn't always been a struggle. She's has she has found a lot of uh, of solutions over time, and she posted something last week that made me think. I think it's time for her to share um, what she has found is helping her cope and uh, and also you know just do better overall even through all of the stuff that is happening right now so um i think here she is let's see if technology is on our side today hey everybody i'm gonna use the little wave thing melissa i worked hello <laughs> how are you i am good how are you Good, really good. Good. So I was just, uh, you know, briefly introducing how this idea came about. I know, like, we've been friends for a while, and I know that anxiety has been a, a thing that has been part of your of your life for well, I don't know how long, but a while. And um, you posted something last week on your page, and uh, you you just shared how you did the mom thing, and you let your uh, your family use your precious adaptive the the capsules that you've been using for anxiety and uh you decided to skip out on them and how you were flooded with all of the things that used to be right so i thought okay i think it's time to talk about this it's time to talk about um ways that you found that work for you to deal with anxiety i and and like mm -hmm. i was telling you it's one of the things i think in the last year it's like people are not even interested in immunity or like skin or other things for essential oils they're like yeah it's something for stress you have something for anxiety that is like so prevalent there's so many people are struggling and really not knowing what to do so um first of all how would you describe how it like how it feels for you how does anxiety manifest in your life I know it's can, it can be a little bit um, triggering, so you know you don't have to go too in details if you don't feel like it. But um, yeah, just share with us how it manifests for you. Sure. Yeah, and I mean anxiety manifests differently for everybody, right? Um, can you hear me okay? You can hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, you can yes, hear I, me. Yeah, I think we have a choppy internet. Okay, I'm not sure if that's me. But anyways, um, for me, what anxiety looks like for me is um, just having like a really tight chest, um, feeling like I can't catch my breath, feeling like I can't take a really good deep breath. So I'm, I'm constantly doing like really um, rapid, shallow breaths. Um, and then as a result of that, what happens sometimes over time is then I'll also get headaches because I'm not um, getting enough oxygen to the brain. Um, but yeah, it feels like my heart is racing. It feels like I'm just like in my brain, I always feel like I'm in a hurry and I've got to like do all the things and I've got to get things done. So it's, it's very much like um, immobilizing in some ways when it, when it gets to be that way, because then you just can't get out of your head and you just can't um, focus on what needs to be done during the day. Mm-hmm. Not a good thing when you're a mom of five. <laughs> nope, no time for that. <laughs> um, so, like, what did you do before you started using oils and, and all of the, the natural remedies that you've found in the last few years? What did you do before? How did you cope? Yeah, that's, I mean, that's a pretty loaded question. I feel like um, before I can answer, like, what I did before before discovering adaptive and, and doTERRA I kind of have to give you a bit of a background information as to like what you know where I was so you can kind of see like where I am now 
Um, mm -hmm. So for those of you who, who know me, you know a little bit of my journey with my son. I've got a 12-year-old. Well, I'm a mom of five, um, but we have a 12-year-old that was born with really severe congenital heart defects. And uh, he had three open heart surgeries at SickKids Hospital all by the time he turned two years old. So it was like a crazy life. He was our fourth child. So, um, you know, we had three other kids who also needed time and love and attention. And uh, we just spent a lot of time, you know, living in and out of the hospital. Um, I can't even count how many hospital admissions he's had. I can't count how many um, ambulance rides we've had. I can't count um, how many times he's had pneumonia. So it was just like a constant, like living in and out of hospital life. Um, but you just, you know, you go in survival mode and you just do all the things and you just do what you've got to do to survive. And it wasn't until uh, doTERRA entered our life first primarily because I wanted to use something to help with his immune system and to help, you know, support his respiratory system. It wasn't until he started getting well that I noticed myself that I had an issue, that I have a problem, right? Because you just, that's what you do. You just go in, in, in mom mode, you just go in survival mode and um, the adrenaline kind of carries you through. Um, but yeah, so as I mentioned, as he healed, I realized that I have issues that I need to work out. Um, but I didn't really have a lot of resources. I didn't really know, first of all, I didn't know that what I was experiencing was anxiety until I had my first full-blown panic attack. And it, it happened, I remember the exact day that it happened because it was exactly, it was on the first day of school for my other kids. And I was sitting at my living room window and I was waving them goodbye as the bus pulled away. And as the bus pulled away, um, it dawned on me that in exactly one year's time, my son Tyson was gonna be going to kindergarten. And we had just spent so much time in and out of the hospital. He's sick all the time and I'm like, how in the world am I going to send him to school? Um, and I basically dropped to my knees and I can't talk about this without becoming emotional because it takes me back to a time that was really, really hard. Um, but I dropped to my knees and I like my, my, t my chest was so tight. I couldn't catch my breath. And um, I wanted to call 911 because I couldn't breathe. But I couldn't get to the phone because I couldn't move. Um, I had a three and a half year old and a 10 month old baby. They weren't going to be much help. I needed to figure this out. I needed to be there for them. So I just, I prayed. I didn't know what else to do. I just prayed. And I just prayed that God would restore my breath, that I could, that I could just breathe. Um, and thankfully, he granted that request. And I was able to get my breath back and gather my bearings again, um, you know, and, and kind of just pray my way out of it. Um, but that was, that was the first time that I really realized, like, what I have is not depression. <laughs> what I have is not anxiety. Like, what I have is, is bigger than that, you know? Um, so then I, then I started reaching out for help, talking to some friends. A lot of times your friends don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> they just say, you know, you got to make sure you, you know, pray about it, pray about it. Right. So, and that's what I was doing. You know, I'd spend, I'd spend every morning in, in scripture reading and, you know, really meditating on God's word and really trying to memorize comforting scripture texts that could really carry me through my day. Um, but that was pretty much the only resource I had. So then when I started looking into some more things with doTERRA, I thought, you know, there's got to be oils that can help me through this, you know, um, so I started using the, the Balance Grounding Blend. That was the first one. I used Serenity to sleep at night, and I used Balance to get me through the day. But as I started becoming more um, aware of my own mental wellness struggles, I, I really felt like I had to just educate and empower myself to try to figure out how to, how to help myself, right? Um, I did go to the doctor. The doctor just wanted to put me on anti-anxiety medication, right? Because that's, that's the answer. Um, and I, I was pretty stubborn about not wanting to go on anti-anxiety medications. Um, so I didn't. I just said that that was not an option for me. And um, I don't say that coming from a place of judgment for anybody who is on anti-anxiety medication. Like we know that basically two out of three women are on some kind of medication to help them manage their mental health. Right. Yeah. And I'm, I'm pretty much convinced that that stat might even be higher now with everything going on. 
Um, so I don't say that from a place of judgment. I just say for me, that was the decision that we made that we were just not going to do that. Um, so I just started really educating myself and looking into other things. And I learned about breath work and I learned about, um, you know, deep breathing. I learned how exercise and moving your body every day can really help with all of the, the hormones. learned how to eat well. Um, I started taking the lifelong vitality supplements, which were awesome for reducing the, the stress and anxiety that I was feeling. Also helped with headaches too. Um, I started uh, writing in a gratitude journal and just, yeah, just trying to diffuse my oils as much as possible. You know, all the happy, uplifting, cheerful oils during the day and then more calming oils in the evening. So that's kind of how I got started. Um, that's kind of how I coped before discovering adaptive, which, as we know, is like totally life changing, like such a game changer for everybody. So, yeah, I just um, in the beginning, I didn't feel like I had a lot of tools. And I feel like doTERRA opened my eyes to really um taking control of my own health, right? And taking responsibility for my own health and saying, okay, what can I do to help this? Mm -hmm. So um, you were using oils, you were supplementing, so you were doing somewhat better, right? Um, so then mm -hmm. enters adaptive. And I can't remember, was that two years ago? Something like that. About two yeah, years it'll ago, be right? in, in September, it'll be two years, yeah. Yeah, so for those of you who are not familiar, Adaptive is uh, a supplement, a roller, a roller touch here, and an oil that you can diffuse. So it's really uh, a system to use supplements internally that has GABA in it and a few other uh, herbal supplements and oils, and you use the oils topically, you use the oils aromatically as well, so it's very comprehensive. So what difference did that make? Because you were already using essential oils to help you relax and all of that. So explain mm -hmm. to us what uh, what that looked like. I think that the, the biggest difference is in um, the amount of time it took to come down from like mm -hmm. moments of panic. You know, like when you're when you're dealing with anxiety and for those people out there who can totally relate to what I'm saying, you, you learn after a while, you learn what your triggers are, right? And so um, what I would do when I knew I was being triggered or when I knew my brain was taking me to a place where I, I didn't want to go, um, I would get my oil out and I would just go into the office, close the door and tell the kids just, I need five minutes, leave me alone. And I would um, put a drop of essential oil on the palms of my hand and rub my hands together and create like a scent tent over my mouth and nose, right? Like this and just breathe it in deeply. And before I used to do that with balance oil and it would work. It would take, you know, probably five or 10 minutes before I would finally notice the change in my, in my heart rate and in my breathing. Um, but when I started using adaptive, like I can, I can be brought down from those high moments of anxiety to feeling calm and in control within like 60 seconds. Like it's so, so fast. So I just, I feel like it's just a really powerful, powerful blend. This is the one that I use. There's the, the adaptive oil, which um, this is the essential oil blend. So you can diffuse this or you can do what I mentioned, put it in your hands. And then we also have, um, I also use the roller, which is a diluted roller bottle. This I wear like perfume. Like I, I could, I would bathe in this if I could. <laughs> they actually do have the adaptive uh, bath gel, which is great too, but um, I wear this like perfume. And then what I find makes the biggest difference in like the stability of my mental health, like making it so that it's, um, you know, pretty predictable every single day is, is the supplement. This is an internal supplement. It's a calming That's blend. The stuff capsule. you are sharing. <laughs> yes, exactly. And uh, this is the stuff that I ran out of, or I was running really low. And there's somebody else in my family that's using it right now as well. So I was kind of giving priority to that child. And as a result, I thought, you know, I can I can live without it for a little while till my next order comes in had been about seven or eight days. And I noticed all of those old feelings coming back again. And it was like, um, old Melissa was, uh, was rearing her ugly head. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I ended up, so my order didn't come in and I'm, and I'm doing okay. Um, but this, this makes such a big difference. So what I do every single day, every morning, I take one of these capsules with my lifelong vitality supplements and my enzymes and all of that. And then most of the time I'm okay with just one capsule a day. 
sometimes I might have to take two. Like if I'm, if I'm, you know, especially nervous about something or, you know, something's really on my mind, it's taking a toll on my thoughts, then I might take another one in the afternoon. But most of the time I'm good with just one of these a day. Uh, and then sp sporadically throughout the day, I just make sure that I'm using this oil in my, in my hands, diffusing it. I love diffusing it. It's pretty much my most diffused oil. It's also really good for when the kids are doing their schoolwork um, at home online because it helps them to focus and concentrate too. So it's like a, it's like a win-win. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned you were uncomfortable with taking anti-anxiety medication when you went to the doctor and that's what was uh, brought to you as a solution. So what made it so you were comfortable taking adaptive? So maybe like, tell that. us a little bit what adaptive is, right? Okay, sure. Yeah. So I, I love the fact that it's a natural compounds, right? I've always been into natural health. I want to try to, you know, use plant medicine as much as possible. Um, I wasn't comfortable with going on anti-anxiety medication because I knew that if I went on, I would never be able to come off. And mm. I mean, studies have shown that when you start taking something, then you, you basically are reliant on it for the rest of your life. But sometimes what happens is um, your body develops resistance to the synthetic compounds in the medication. And that's why sometimes people need to change their medications up again, because they, their body has just said, nope it's not going to work for me anymore. It, it develops kind of like a defense against that medicine. And then you, you know, we'll go to the doctor and they'll change your medicine up. And sometimes it'll take another six weeks before you're like mentally stable again. The other thing was we weren't a hundred percent convinced if we were done having children. So I didn't want to end up on a medication that I would have to try to wean myself off of in order to try to get pregnant. And then, you know, all of the pregnancy hormones, that's hard enough as it is. So for me, that's the reason why I didn't want to go to the, the synthetic option. Mm -hmm. But what I love about the capsules is the ingredients in them are natural. We're talking about plant medicine. We're talking about like botanical medicine. Um, but what's so powerful about it is that it contains GABA. And um, GABA is something that is, it's basically an amino acid that's produced in the brain that acts like a neurotransmitter and it sends signals um, to the different cells in your brain. So they basically communicate together. And when you have struggles with your mental wellness, whether that's depression or whether that's anxiety or PTSD, what happens is um, there's an imbalance of those neurons, an imbalance of the, ex the excitability of the neurons. So what GABA does is um, it helps to balance those neurotransmitters and it just really helps to kind of, uh, yeah, it sends signals to the rest of the body to stay calm or to stay happy or, you know, to, um, to um, uh, regulate the heart rate and that kind of thing. So I love the fact that doTERRA has used, um, they actually have 100 milligrams of um, natural compounds, like naturally um, what is it called? Naturally sourced GABA. So it essentially mm -hmm. is doing the same thing as what an anti-anxiety medication would do. Because an anti-anxiety medication would um, try to um, help the brain produce more GABA. So this is just a more natural version of it. It's just doing it in a natural way as opposed to having a synthetic in your body. Does that answer mm -hmm. your question? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so describe to us your your routine now what works the best like what do you do in your day from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed that makes you feel the most stable with uh managing your anxiety oh, i love that question and people ask me that all the time like what do you do and they they expect me to tell them one thing <laughs> and like anxiety is not it's not a one-stop shop Honestly, like when you when you struggle with anxiety, there's not just one thing that's going to work. It's usually a plethora of, of like all these different routines. So for me, the first thing I do before my my feet even hit the floor is I spend time in prayer and I just really give my day over to God. And I just say, OK, God, this is your day. Um, you know, use me how you're going to use me. Help me through this day. Give me the strength that I need to, you know, deal with my children, be patient with them all. Um, and um, I usually will write down a few things that I'm thankful for. I'll sometimes even write down a few things that I'm stressing about or that I'm worried about. Just 
getting it out on paper sometimes really helps, right? Um, and then I have, before my kids eat this, I do all this like before my kids get up because I need to have time for me before I can uh, give of myself to, to serve them. So I usually pour myself a coffee and then I have some more um, Bible time. Like I have a devotion app on my phone. I'll spend time in, in scripture reading, meditating on God's word. Then I head downstairs and I do a workout. Um, when the gyms were open, I was going to the gym, but uh, right now I'm just doing a workout in my basement. But basically I spend the first like hour of my day taking care of me. <laughs> and I used to think that that was really selfish. And I used to think that, um, you know, mom comes last, right? Because there's so many other things that are important. There's so many other people that are more important than me. But what I've realized over the years is that if I don't take care of me, I can't mom. I, I can't, I can't take care of other people. So yeah. yeah, my first hour is dedicated to me. I make sure I spend time every day moving my body. So either that's going for a run or a walk or a workout with weights, something to, you know, get my blood pumping, get those endorphins and the, the serotonin, everything in, in my brain working well. Um, and then um, have my supplements with my breakfast kids by now the kids are all awake. They're ready for breakfast. And I'm ready to start my day. And I'm, you know, I'm feeling like, okay, I've got this, you know, God's got this, we've, we've got it together. And, uh, and that's usually really helpful. So the one um, adaptive supplement with my lifelong vitality supplements in the morning is usually enough, like combined with those things, scripture, prayer, exercise, gratitude journal, I'm, I'm usually golden. If one of those things is off, then, then I'm off. Like if something happened and I woke up in the morning and I didn't have time for prayer or I didn't have time for a workout or I forgot to take my supplements, like I'll notice. So it is, um, it, yeah, it is a bit of a process to, to get through, but, um, you know, we have some amazing resources and I'm so blessed and so thankful for those resources. And, uh, you know, hopefully it doesn't take other people as long to figure out as what it took me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a process, right? Especially when you're introducing something new. So what would be your, your closing thoughts? You know, what would you say to, uh, to people that are struggling with anxiety right now and don't really know where to start? Because it can seem overwhelming. Okay, you got to do this and this and this and this. And it's like mm -hmm. too much. So where, where yeah. should they start? I think just to help with the, the stability in the brain is to start with the adaptive capsules. Like, I think it's just going to, it's going to make a difference without you even doing any work. You, you, you're popping a pill. Like anybody can remember to do that. Right. Yeah. So I think that's going to just help with the stability of the brain, um, you know, stimulating the GABA to do its job to, you know, control the emotions and the, and the feelings. And that would be a good start. Um, but of course, I speak very highly of the oil as well. Like I love, I love diffusing it. I love wearing it. So if anyone out there is struggling, like I, I really feel like you need all three. Take yeah. the supplement in the morning, diffuse the oil every day and wear that roller bottle like it's perfume. Take it with you everywhere you go. Don't leave home without it. Not that you're leaving much these days, but you know what I'm saying, right? Like just <laughs> those three are so, so key. Yeah, that's so true. And I love what uh, I think is Jessica Travis, a nurse practitioner that has worked with people with mental uh, health uh, for a long time. And she described the adaptive system as something that kind of fills your pantry, like gives your body what it needs to adapt to stressful situations, hence the, the name adaptive. Yeah. And it really gives all like all those compounds. It's so complete. And uh, mm -hmm. You know, there's there's oils there that are citruses that help uplift the mood. And there's oils like lavender that help relax. And it really gives your body what it needs to be able to adapt. And uh, when I first got the adaptive uh, supplements, I remember I asked a few friends that struggle with anxiety to try them because I didn't, uh, I never really struggled with anxiety. And I really wanted to know how it works, like how it felt for them. I didn't even tell them what it was called. And one of my neighbors, she tried it and she's like, the same kind of stressful stuff happened in my day, but I felt like I could adapt and roll with it without feeling <laughs> panicky. And I was like, you said the word adapt? <laughs> that's so cool. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, so that's a really good, really good name for it. It really does do that, so.
Yeah, yeah thank sure. you so much for sharing. Uh, that I think that was really helpful, really rich uh, for for people that are struggling with the same thing. Uh, lots of us, I mean, especially in the past year. So thank you for all of your tips and words of wisdom and just sharing your real raw story. I know it's not easy, so thank you. You're very welcome. I, I knew I wasn't gonna be able to get through it without some <laughs> tears, because <laughs> it's hard, right? It, it brings you back to the time where you don't really enjoy, you know, what life was like. So um, yeah, yeah, moving forward, I'm just, I'm so thankful to have these amazing resources, these amazing natural tools in our toolkit to help us cope with all the things. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. Bye.